favorite kind of about oral lock triggers, the features and benefits of oral lock. Let's go in the shop and take a look. Okay, now that we're in the shop, let's look at uh, the oral lock rivet. Oral lock is quite simply a structural blind rivet. In this case, oral lock has a double locking feature in both the head of the rivet and the tail pin of the rivet. Let's take a look. So, here's an oral lock sample that's set inside of a washer sample. The locking feature is in the head of the rivet, which locks the pin and the shear plane, which makes it a structural rivet. Orlock has a special second locking feature in the backside of the of the uh, of the rivet. How about some of the differences between Orlock structural rivets and some of the typical structural rivets you might find out there um, that you could use uh, that are commonly used in the marketplace? Here's an example of a structural rivet. And as you can see, there's a couple of things that you notice right away. In this particular case, this is about as wide a grip range as you're typically going to see on a structural rivet, which is about 5 eighths of an inch. The second thing that you'll notice on here is that uh, structural rivets do, as I mentioned before, have a locking feature. And this particular rivet does have a lock locking feature in the head of the rivet. On the back side of the rivet, it does not have a locking feature, nor does it have the backside flange. So it has a one-sided locking feature and limited um, in terms of the grip range that can be applied to whatever application you may be dealing with. So again, comparing that to a structural rivet on, on an orlock, where you have the actual flange, the backside flange on the, on the, on the uh, rivet that is locked in place mechanically on both the backside and the, on the front side. Let's take a quick look at a non-structural rivet. Here's a non-structural rivet that actually has a wider grip range. This particular rivet is a quarter inch rivet. But as you can see, it's got a, it's got a fairly sig significant uh, grip range, not quite as wide in this case as the Orlock rivet does. However, there is no pin retention here, and there is no, there is no structural properties to the rivet. It's essentially just the shell of the rivet that provides the shear and tensile properties for this rivet. So again, no pin retention, so that extra strength that you would get from the pin running down the middle of the rivet, and no, uh, no locking feature on the back. And in this case, this particular style of rivet, which is a uh, kind of a generic uh, uh, sort of solution, is set by, the, by a pintail being pulled and actuating the rivet. But as you can see, in the bottom of this rivet, the mandrel or the pintail in this rivet is actually floating inside of that chamber. So the pin is floating inside of the chamber, as you can see here, which means that it could fall and can fall out and contaminate the work area. And in some cases, that could be very significant. So the tip of the day then, where would you use an oral lock rivet? What's the most suitable place to use an oral lock rivet? Well, a lot of applications come to mind. Um, one of the first things that come to mind is wide grip ranges. If you're somebody, if you're a manufacturer, you've got a wide grip range or you're trying to help somebody that uh, has a product that has a wide grip range, that's the place to look, that's the place to use an oral lock. It takes a long time to use a nut and bolt. Here's an application with a wide grip range and it's using a nut and a bolt. It takes a long time to put a nut and a bolt together. No one wants to take a long time. So install an oral lock rivet. It takes about one second. And you have a beautiful solution that works well. Hey, tell you what. I've got one right here. Why don't we put one in? Let's see how this works. Hmm, that was easy. So there you have the features and benefits of the oral lock rivet. Oh, in addition to that, I'd also like to mention that oral lock rivets come in a variety of materials. It comes in aluminum, it comes in stainless steel, and it comes in steel. And in addition to that, it comes in sizes from 3 16ths all the way up to 5 16ths in the grip ranges that I mentioned, which are up to an inch and 5 16ths. So, to find a distributor or for more information, you can go to bluenomatic.com. Or if you run into an application and you have questions or comments or you want to share your comments, you can also join the blog at Blue